So I was saying that as long as they're both the same symbol, so sigma, this is both positive root 2 over 2. These would be both negative root 2 over 2. Now, when are they both positive? That would be in quadrant 1. When are they both negative? That would be the bottom left, which is quadrant 3. So what angle, what reference angle goes with root 2 over 2? That's with our middle finger down. There's two fingers on each side. Middle finger down is for a 45 degree reference angle. Quadrant one, very easy, because that's our angle. So 45 degrees. Quadrant three, we'd have to do 180 plus that 45 degree reference angle, which gives us 225 degrees. Awesome. There's all the degrees where that happens. We have to figure that out in radians. Now, we figured out 45 degrees up there in radians. It was pi over 4. But 225 we didn't do. So you could set up the conversion. Or, remember, 180 times 4, or sorry, 45 times 4 gives us 180. And then we were just adding one more 45 to that. So that would be 5 times 45. What if you can't remember that? Set up a little conversion. 225 over 1 times pi over 180. And let's see, uh, 45 goes into 225 5 times. 45 goes into 180 4 times. So you're left with 5 pi over 4. There we go. So we're going to try out 8 of these examples. And then in these videos, I'll actually go over the homework as well. I would like you to try it on your own, but I want to have this available in video form for you as well. It's still going on the notes. Cosine inverse of cosine is one half. So think, when is cosine positive? You can look at that chart, but cosine is our x. When are the x's positive? That's in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. Now, when can we have the x be 1 half? Remember, the x is our left fingers. So when can I have one finger on the left? That's with our pointer finger down. That represents a 60-degree reference angle. So in quadrant 1, a 60-degree reference angle would be 60 degrees. If we have a 60 degree reference angle in the fourth quadrant, we would have to do 360 minus 60, which would give us a 300 degree angle. I want you to start thinking with these fractions instead of like having to convert it every time. It's always out of 180, right? So 60 out of 180, if you simplified that fraction, that would be one third. So 60 degrees would be pi over 3. And 300 degrees is just 60 times 5. So if we multiply this by 5, it would be 5 pi over 3. Again, do the conversion, the full conversion, if you want. But if you can start making these connections, it'll save you a little bit of time. All right, B, the inverse of the sine equals negative root 2 over 2. The ones with the root 2 over 2s are obviously the 45 degree reference angles. But we're saying when is sine negative? So sine is our y. When are the y's negative? That would be in quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. We know it's a 45 degree reference angle because that's the root 2 over 2. So we're going to have to figure out what the angles are. So in quadrant 3, if we have a 45 degree reference angle, that would be 180 plus 45, which is 225 degrees. For quadrant 4, that would be the bottom right. We do 360 minus 45, which gives us 315 degrees. So there's our two angles. 